Yo, yo, big up to all of my subscribers, them, you know, yeah. This a topic here is a different type of topic, you know, and a really dance all, but to me see the thing I go on, I did have to come talk about it still, because at the end of the day, um, I entertain, uh, you see me, and a singer, you see me, called R. Kelly, you see me, and we have a whole lot of black people right now in the media where I get a lot of bashing because of them action or them do. You see me, so I want to know one thing, people, because from Bill Cosby come down to Usher, Michael Jackson, R. Kelly and them, man, they allegedly um, rape and do a sort of sexual act, especially R. Kelly. The man have look like say the man have over a thousand sex slaves, you see me? Yeah, man, and the man rule off the whole of them, who them texts, who them weird, them have to turn their face to the wall, all sort of sitting now come out in the news. So, people, I don't know what to think that, because this is one of kind of strange, but I don't know why. I go on with R. Kelly, you know, he have a God complex issue where he have buckle with right now, so he needs some help right now, because I don't know, somebody I go kill him. Yeah, man. The man a peep and girl from, you know, the man a do all sort of something. So people, let me know what you think. Watch that video, yeah? And on the leave a comment. Yeah, man. I let me know if you want know, uh, some more content like this. Yeah. Big up. Hey, what's up, happy people? Welcome back to The Drop. I'm to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop. And yes, that reference is an R. Kelly song because he's back in the news. This time, it's for allegedly running a sex cult of young women, mm. brain washing them as well. He makes them face the wall and not look at men when they come in. It's crazy. Wow, man. That is, when a woman stand up, she would do just about anything. Okay. Can you stop with that? Hey, I'm a flirt. Now, R. Kelly apparently has six women in his Chicago and Atlanta mm. homes, all between the ages of 18 to 26. I wonder if they trapped in the closet. Okay, dear. And the things that he makes these women do is, number one, he controls their phones, mm. who they call, when they text, what they post on social media, if at all. And then on top of that, he makes them wear track suits, not to show their figures. He also makes them face a wall when men are present so that they don't look at, I guess he doesn't want the men to look them in their face. But that's really weird because he per, he records their sex acts and then shows his boys. Yo, this is crazy. I bet they're thinking if they could just turn back the hands of time. Okay. All right. Just say another one of those. I apologize. Songs. I just was trying to get it going. You know, just put the key to ignition. This is so disgusting to me because he has a history of doing this. R. Kelly has been allegedly mentoring women, like, hey, I can help you sing, and mm. then forcing them or brainwashing them into some kind of sexual relationship. It just happened like, what, 25 years now? Man, it is ridiculous. Obviously, Age Ain't Nothing But A Number was a hit song written by R. Kelly, but performed by Aaliyah. And, right. I mean, he got accusations going way back then. Right, because Aaliyah, he met her when she was like 12 years old, then he mm -hmm. ended up marrying her when she was 15. Which is crazy. Disgusting. How much of the same things they like, like Dear. from Snacks, Transformers, Snaps, but it is completely unacceptable. And let's not forget that R. Kelly was accused of child pornography, 14 mm. counts, even though he got acquitted, because if you remember, he had that sex tape in the early 2000s with his 14-year-old goddaughter. He peed in her mouth. That The is summer after her eighth grade year. Like, come on, bro. The craziest thing ever. The craziest wow. thing is that it was his goddaughter and she was 14 and he was completely fine with that. Nah. Right, like he has kids. What if somebody did that to your daughter? How could you do this to other people's daughter? It's just sickening to me. And the fact that people are still doing music with him. Lady Gaga a couple years ago, mm. Ty Dolla Sign, Lil Wayne. Like, why are we still doing music with him? Why are people still buying his music? Jay-Z had the best of both worlds with him. It was crazy, man. Right. Like, he was still throwing fiestas. It was just out of control, if you ask me. All right, so earlier this year, R. Kelly got sued for doing a little bump and grind with a cop's wife and then giving her chlamydia. Yo, this dude is wild. No. Somebody is going to do something harmful to him because you cannot keep sleeping with people's wives, mm. taking their daughters, performing sex acts on them, recording it, brainwashing it. Like somebody, yo, bruh, some man is gonna put his hands on you. You know, this reminds me of the whole Bill Cosby situation. I don't know if I continue to support the artist and leave his personal life alone or do I acknowledge the personal life and not support the artist anymore. I'm totally conflicted, but we wanna hear from you, squad. What would you do? Will you continue to listen to R. Kelly music? Are you done completely? 
completely with the TP2000 man himself. Post it in the comments below. And you know what time it is. It's the, the comment of the day. Oh, Stop oh, messing oh. with these young girls because that's predatory. The and it comes from last Friday's episode about Beyonce and Jay-Z's twins mm. named Rumi and Sir. It goes to Haven Holder who says, what happens if Sir gets knighted? Mm. They gonna call him Sir, Sir Carter? <laughs> That's a good one. We see so you, fam. Stupid. That was good. We see you, fam. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to All Def Digital. I'm Meg Scoop. And I'm to hear more. We'll see you tomorrow on The Drop. Peace out. You said. remind me of a creep. You need to go to jail. That was good. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. That's what's up. Oh, 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 oh,